Follow News Learn English. April 24. 1. The Republican National Committee, a group of politicians who support the Republican Party, is creating a website that will check the accuracy of statements made by President Biden in real time. This is happening because President Biden is planning to run for re-election, and the Republican Party wants to make sure that everything he says is truthful. 2. A letter was sent to the Department of Education by a group of parents and education organizations. The letter is about the changes being proposed to Title IX, which would affect transgender athletes in school sports. 3. The Supreme Court announced on Monday that it will review a case to determine whether people have the right to comment on government officials' personal social media pages. The case involves the First Amendment and whether it applies to social media users who have been blocked from commenting on public officials' personal pages. 4. In Nevada, the police and other law enforcement officials are supporting a bill that has been proposed by Republican Governor Joe Lombardo. This bill would give the police more power to tackle the increase in crime that has been happening throughout the state. 5. On Monday, Ron DeSantis, a possible candidate for the U.S. presidency, met with the Prime Minister of Japan. During the meeting, they praised the strong relationship between the two countries, especially the concept of a strong Japan. 6. On Sunday, the Foreign Ministry of Jordan announced that a member of its parliament had been detained by Israel. The lawmaker is suspected of smuggling weapons and gold into the West Bank, and Jordan is working to secure his release. 7. On Monday, the South Korean president traveled to the United States to meet with President Joe Biden. This meeting comes at a time when some people in South Korea are beginning to question the alliance between the two countries, which has provided security for South Korea for many years. The concerns are mainly about the nuclear umbrella and whether the United States would be willing to use nuclear weapons to defend South Korea in case of an attack. These doubts have been growing recently and the summit between the two leaders is seen as an opportunity to address these concerns and reaffirm the strength of the alliance between the two countries. Follow News Learn English April 25th 1. President Biden has announced that he plans to run for president again in a video. He wants to finish the job and turn his originally short-term presidency into something more significant. 2. President Biden, who is 80, declares his intention to run for the 2024 campaign, even though he has limited support within his own party. Almost half of the individuals who voted for him in the 2020 election believe that he should not run for office again. 3. Representative Ronnie Jackson, who previously served as the White House doctor, is demanding that President Biden undergo a cognitive test and share the results with the public, or withdraw from the 2024 presidential race. 4. When you first announced your bid to run in the 2020 presidential election, questions and concerns were raised surrounding your cognitive abilities. Those concerns have only increased because your mental decline and forgetfulness have become more apparent since you were elected. 5. 
The American people should have absolute confidence in their president and know that he or she can perform their duties as head of state and commander in chief, Jackson also said. Therefore, the American people deserve complete transparency on the mental capabilities of their highest elected leader. 6. The upcoming rematch in the United States could be one of the most significant in history. It involves a sitting president who presents himself as a protector of democracy and is competing against a former president who frequently rejects election outcomes. 7. People who are worried about the possibility of Donald Trump being re-elected and those who refuse to accept Joe Biden's win could both recognize the immense significance of the 2024 election if both Biden and Trump are candidates, as it could determine the fate of the nation. 8. The Department of Homeland Security, DHS, has recently released a statement urging caution and vigilance, as there has been a growing trend of violent extremist groups sharing tactics for attacking power stations. English News Assistant Read the native language translation first. And follow the broadcasting to read aloud. Witness the miracle in three months. Follow News Learn English April 26 1. President Biden and South Korean President Yoon have reached an agreement to prevent North Korea from acting aggressively, which includes plans to deploy a nuclear armed submarine. 2. White House staff members are working quickly to help Vice President Kamala Harris increase her low approval ratings especially after she and President Biden announced their plans to run for re-election this week. 3. The Speaker of the House of Representatives met with small groups of lawmakers to persuade them to vote in favor of a bill. They need 218 votes to pass the bill and this could create more pressure on President Biden. 4. It is surprising to note that DeSantis was once considered a potential leader who could defeat Donald Trump and bring about a new era for the Republican Party. He was thought to embody the principles of Trumpism without any negative associations. 5. The recent explosion of SpaceX's new Starship rocket during its first flight test is an example of a business strategy called successful failure, which is beneficial for Elon Musk's company. 6. The head of NATO expressed that Ukraine should be part of the alliance, but it is unlikely that they will become a member in the near future. 7. United States and Philippine forces fired on a mock enemy warship in the South China Sea on Wednesday, the latest display of American firepower in Asia as tensions with China continue to rise. 8. An Iranian commander has been sentenced to 13 years in prison for his role in shooting down a Ukrainian passenger plane in January 2020 which resulted in the deaths of all 176 people on board. 9. An Italian princess, who was originally from Texas, has been forced to leave her villa in Rome which contained an original artwork by Caravaggio. 10. Tom Parker Bowles, the son of Camilla, has spoken out in defense of his mother's relationship with Prince Charles, saying that she'd married the person she loved, and that it was never going to be an easy ride. As you watch President Joe Biden's announcement that he will run for re-election, remember what he is promising. The American people overwhelmingly oppose treating people differently based on their race, but the Biden administration supports doing so. 
The American people strongly favor developing American energy sources, yet the Democrats voted 203 to 4 against the Lower Energy Cost Act. Americans overwhelmingly favor parents having rights concerning their children's education. Yet, not a single Democrat voted for a parent's Bill of Rights in the House. 1. As I write this, the Pentagon is trying to explain why we can't rescue Americans from the civil war in Sudan. Meanwhile, other countries are flying into a secure airfield and doing their jobs. It has the sense of Afghanistan all over again. 2. Whether it is a matter of incompetence or deliberate policy, the disaster on our borders is allowing millions of people illegally, huge quantities of drugs, and a wave of human trafficking and criminal penetration unlike anything we have ever seen. 3. The American people strongly oppose biological males competing with women and girls in sports, yet not a single Democrat voted for the bill codifying this measure. Meanwhile, the Biden administration has proposed a rule to allow males in girls' locker rooms and sports. 4. Americans strongly oppose transgender propaganda in schools and deeply oppose sex change surgery and drugs for minors, yet the Biden Defense Department published a paper saying seven-year-olds could decide to change their gender. 5. Finally, Americans oppose a debt ceiling increase if it does not have significant spending cuts. Only one in four favor the Biden approach of raising the debt ceiling with no changes. Yet the Democrats ignore the popular feeling and march on in lockstep. 6. President Biden is no stranger to detailed cheat sheets when speaking to the press, but the president's team seems to have taken things up a notch after he revealed a pre-written question from a reporter during Wednesday's press conference. 7. Speaker Kevin McCarthy's bill to increase the debt ceiling and reduce spending was passed by the House on Wednesday, with four Republicans voting against it. This marks a significant achievement for McCarthy's leadership, securing a win by a narrow margin. 8. Some people are worried that Ukraine's friends who have been helping them may be getting tired of it. Ukraine is running out of bullets, which is bad timing because they are getting ready to fight back against Russia. One. Americans have compiled a list of President Biden's top achievements and failures during his time in office. Some of his legislative accomplishments were praised while others criticized his handling of issues such as the border, economy, and Afghanistan. 2. The United States proceeds with confidence in its long-term economic strength, Yellen said in her speech. We remain the largest and most dynamic economy in the world. We also remain firm in our conviction to defend our values and national security. 3. An American teacher managed to escape from Sudan on a French evacuation plane, despite receiving no assistance from the U.S. government. 4. European countries are demanding answers from Beijing after its top diplomat in Paris questioned the sovereignty of former Soviet republics, in comments that could undermine China's efforts to be seen as a potential mediator between Russia and Ukraine. 5. There has been a recent surge of Russian airstrikes on multiple cities in Ukraine, including Kiev resulting in the death of at least 25 individuals. 
One of the strikes targeted a block of flats in the central city of Yemen, claiming the lives of 23 people, including four children. 6. Ukraine's armed forces are finishing their preparations for a counteroffensive against Russian troops, the defense minister has said. Though U.S. made Abrams tanks would not arrive in time to participate in the counteroffensive. 7. Russia denies access to imprisoned journalist Evan Gershkovich to be visited by U.S. officials, following reports of the U.S. refusal to grant visas to Russian journalists who were scheduled to attend a U.N. meeting. 8. The Israeli ambassador criticized the United Nations for holding a meeting on the country's Memorial Day, saying it was a disrespectful act to those who have died in service. 9. Turkish President Erdogan cancelled election rallies scheduled for Wednesday and Thursday after falling ill on live television, forcing the interview to abruptly come to an end. 10. Food companies have seen larger profits due to higher prices, but some customers are now reducing their spending or opting for cheaper options. English News Assistant 1. The video announcement of President Biden's re-election bid was revealing a fast-paced montage of pretty pictures with the leader of the free world providing a voiceover. 2. Only twice did Biden briefly address the camera, the message being we're all in this together, fighting for America's freedoms, a far cry from I alone can fix it. 3. President Biden delivered a speech Friday during a reception for the Democratic National Committee in which he said MAGA Republicans are attempting to undo the progress made in the U.S. 4. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is launching an effort to get members of Congress educated on artificial intelligence as the rapidly advancing technology enters more facets of everyday life and pressure to regulate it grows. 5. The Florida legislature issued final approval Friday for a bill that allows state officeholders to run in presidential elections without resigning their current post. Dot and now goes to the governor's desk for final approval. 6. The United States government has begun a land-based evacuation of American civilians who are in Sudan amid a growing civil conflict in the country. 7. According to a governor appointed by Russia, a Ukrainian drone strike on an oil reservoir in Crimea on Saturday was the cause of a large fire at the facility. 8. In a new video that was released, some members of the Iranian army were seen landing on an oil tanker named Advantage Suite that was heading to the United States, according to the Iranian Navy. This incident happened in the Gulf of Oman. 9. A missing yacht with three Russians and two Egyptians on board reached safety in Djibouti in East Africa on Thursday after going missing for days following an attack off the coast of Yemen, its owner said. 10. Jack Nicholson, a famous 86-year-old Hollywood actor, attended a Los Angeles Lakers basketball game against the Memphis Grizzlies at the NBA playoff series. This was the first time in two years that he was sitting in the courtside seats, and he was seen cheering for the Lakers.